talk about sad. I was sad that day. It's Brooke. I'm back with another YouTube video. In today's video, as y'all can tell by the title, this is gonna be a story time. The one that y'all was asking for. <clears throat> um, the time I caught my girlfriend cheating on me in the mall. <sighs> Talk about sad. I was sad that day. So we just gonna get right into it. Okay, so. I'm just make it, I ain't gonna make the video too long, so I'm just get right into it. Alright, so, basically, one day I was on the phone with my girlfriend, and she was like, um, she was about to go to the mall. Anytime she goes somewhere, she asks me, you know, um, babe, you wanna link here, you wanna link here, and I'm like, um, yeah, I'll come, or whatever. So, today she asked me. So, that's when, that's when I was, I just, you know, I just offered myself, I'm like, I'm coming, so I'm gonna be there, so. So, she's like, okay, okay, this man third. So, I'm in the car. She's like, you on the way here? I'm in the car. My dad take me and my little sister, drop us off. We got to call him when we're ready. All right, cool. So, I get to the mall. I see my girlfriend or whatever. I go, me and my sister go in. And we just walk around for a little bit. You know how you do at the mall. Kick it at the mall. Just walk around, go in stores and stuff. So, we go in Jimmy Jazz. You know, shoe store. Jimmy Jazz. So, we go in there. And we sitting out, my sister standing up, but me and my girlfriend sitting on the bench. And my little sister had my girlfriend's phone. So she was on her phone and then my girlfriend's phone started ringing. Everybody look at it and the name came up at the top. Hey, and my girlfriend, she got up and she took off running and I got up and I took off running behind her. And so I grabbed her cause she ran to like the back, a back door of the mall. When I grabbed her, I was like, who's that calling your phone? Call him back, call him back, call him back. And she was like, that's my mom. And she was like, that was nobody else. This was my friend. And this that a third. So, you know what? I got fed up because I all I kept saying was call her back, call her back. And she won't call her back. So I got fed up. And I um went and sat down. So when I sat down, her and my little sister, they was shopping and stuff. And then they finally came to where I was sitting at. And I was like, I didn't really want to be bothered with them. So, well, with her, not my sister. But, so, then that's when I was like, let me see her phone. And she wouldn't let me see her phone. So I was like, like, let me see your phone. Like, let me see your phone. There's nothing in your phone. Like, she was like, nothing in here, nothing in here. I'm like, there's nothing in your phone. Let me see your phone. That's when, um, oh, let me tell y'all. It was this girl, she kept walking past us. Like, she walked past us like twice or three times. It was this girl, and I was like, I must be know her or something. But I didn't. Well, he's like, they got to get. And so, that's when um, I was like, I got frustrated because I got anger problems, so I got mad so fast. I was like, like she kept telling me no, and I was like, let me see her phone. So I just slapped her. And when I slapped her, she got up because I know she got anger problems too, and I know she probably had would hit me back, but she didn't. And so she got up and she left. And she went to the little Chinese buffet in the middle of the mall or whatever, or in the front of the mall when they first walk in. And my sister went with her. So, um, yeah, they went there. I was in Roses by myself. And so I was in Roses walking around on my phone or whatever. So I heard somebody say my name. I heard somebody say, Brooke, Brooke. And so I, I look like I'm looking around and like outside of Roses, my sister, like she coming in there, like coming to get me. So I'm like, what, what? She was like, tell me why Tori let this girl come walk up and sit at the table with us. I'm like. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. She did what? And she was like, yes, yeah. like the girl really came and sat at the table and they started talking and this and that and third. And so I'm like, hold up, where they at? And she was like, they sitting at the little um Chinese thing. So me and my little sister, we go walk into the little Chinese thing. We get there, they gone. So I tell my sister, I was like, you go this way, I go this way. So I was walking to where towards Claire. My sister was walking towards Rainbow. And 
So she was like, Brooke, I see them, I see them. So I, I go running down in Rainbow. And when I get in Rainbow, they all the way in the back. She's trying to be all the way in the back where I couldn't see her. And I, I still see her, like, I'm tall. I'm, I'm like 5'8". I'm tall. Damn! So I see them or whatever. And then when I get, when I see them, and when she see that I see them, my girlfriend, she take off running and she go like to the, I don't even know where she went. So I walk up to the girl. I'm like, um, do you know Tori? She was like, yeah. I was like, what y'all supposed to be? Like, y'all friends or something? She was like, um, we talk. And I was like, oh, you know, my girlfriend, right? She was like, no. I was like, she told you she didn't have a girlfriend, didn't she? She was like, yeah. I'm like, all right, okay. So, because listen, this would, matter of fact, I'm going to just say this at the end of the day. Okay. So, I go, and I go look at me and my little sister. We go look at the tour. We go look at her. We don't see her nowhere, nowhere. So, we um, see the girl. Hey, she walk around the mall. So, me and my little sister spying on her because we thinking maybe if we follow her, she could lead us to where Tori is because, like, maybe they text her or something. So, the girl keeps seeing us following her. Like, we trying to hide. So, I guess she got scared. We followed her outside. And it was two girls in a the truck. They was like, they started laughing. They was like, I hope y'all not trying to fight her. And they was laughing. And then I started, we, I started laughing. I was like, anybody trying to fight her? I'm just trying to ask her something. So, then that's when we walk around the mall. And... We catch a, and when we catch her, I was like, um, Tori told you where she was at. She was like, um, I'm about to go, but she, I think she said she was in Bells. So, I go in Bells. And I was like, no, I was like, give me your number. So, I had got her number or whatever. So, me and my sister went in Bells. And I told my sister, I said, you go this way. I go this way again. So, I went right. My sister went left. And then... My sister, she spotted Tori. She spotted her. She got behind pots, I think. And she was like, Brooke, I see her. I turn around and I go speed walking up to her. I was like, put your baby down. I'm about to fight you. I'm about to fight you. I'm about to fight you. Like, I was so mad. And then she was like, all right, what's up? And she put her baby down. And then that's when, you know, I had grabbed one of her bags out of her hand. And then she dropped the other one. And then that's when she didn't even do it because... The lady was looking at us, so I was like, you know what, alright, come to the bathroom, come to the bathroom. So then I had one of her bags, and she had her other one. She was like, alright, and I was speed walking, going to the bathroom. She was walking behind me, my sister was walking behind us. And so, that's when we were like halfway to the bathroom. And then she was like, um, my mama outside, I gotta go. And then I didn't believe her at first, and then she was like, girl, my mom is outside, like, I have to go. And so that's when I had believed her. And so I took her bag and I threw it and I was like, I get it, dog. And then she was like, like Hi, that's why my mama made me even outside this man. I was like, Don't worry, you scared. That's why you ain't come to the bathroom because you're scared. You're scared. And so that's when um, me and my sister was just walking around the mall. We was watching the little babies at clearance get their ears peeled and stuff. So when she was still in the mall, she was sitting down at the little tables, Chinese tables on her phone and stuff. And I texted the girl, A, and I was like, hey, look, you can have her because, like I said, I'm not about to be nobody's second choice, period. So then, that's when, oh, me and my sister had to charge our phone because the mall was closing at 6, I think it was Sunday, I don't know. And, yeah, so me and my sister went to the back to charge our phones. And when I was going to the back, I saw somebody walking, like, coming up behind me. And, no, I looked down the hall. And it's Tori coming down the hall. And I'm looking like, what is she coming down here for? And I, she was about to go. So, she dapped my sister. She laughing and stuff. Like, thinking everything cool. Like, we're supposed to be cool and stuff. And she trying to give me a hug and stuff before she leaves. And, like, I was really, I really wanted to fight her so bad. Like, I broke my nails off. I think I got a picture. If I got a picture, I'm going to insert it right here, right now. Yeah, and like, like that junk just blew me. And like, she tried to give me a hug. And when she tried to give me a hug, I got up and I took off running. And I chased her in the roses. And when we got in the roses, she told the lady about us. She trying to um harass me or something. She said I was trying to hit her, or harass her, or something. She told that lady. And so that's when I was like, no, it ain't. And then that's when she left. I'm like, bye, bro. And I didn't even say nothing to her. And I was like, in my head, I was like, don't worry, like, I'm going to get you. I promise you, I'm going to get you. After that, me and my sister, we went home or whatever. And when we got home, you know, we 
literally just clean up, take a shower. Like, I took a shower, I laid down, and like, I think it was like three in the morning. Guess who trying to call and text my phone? I'm like, no, no, you know, I believe in second chances, so I get someone, but that, trust me, that was not even a second chance. I just got a good heart, and I just think people can change, and yeah, so I just gave her another chance, but we talked about it. I think I, yeah. We talked about it with us, but you know, when somebody loves somebody, you can't judge them off because it's hard. Like, it's hard to leave somebody that you really love, even if they do you wrong. Like, it's hard. But, and girls, this is what I had to tell y'all. Like, if y'all with somebody and you find out that they cheating on you, don't try to fight the girl if you don't know. Like, because some girls, they don't be knowing that these people be having boobs. Like, people be lying to them. But it's different if it's like a girl that know you go with somebody and they still talk to you, then yeah. But like if it's a girl that don't know that you and your boo together, you can't get mad at a girl because for one, that girl don't owe you no loyalty, your boo owes you loyalty. So that's who you should be mad at. But yeah, unless it's like one of your friends or something, yeah, they owe you loyalty too. That'd be dirty. I can't even say nothing on it. Like, like, I was sad. Like, I think I was crying, like, a little bit that night. But I wasn't crying, crying. Because I was like, that is not the first time. It wasn't the first time. So, But, yeah. That's it. So, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Comment the next video that y'all want me to do. No matter what it is. Story time, print, whatever y'all want it to be. Just comment it in the comment section below. Give this video a thumbs up. Make sure y'all click that subscribe button. And when y'all do, click that post notifications. Yeah. So, that's it. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Bye.